Hey, aloha, this is Harry from Kailua. This is another Rallo guitar made from the same uh, koa tree that fell on Tantalus in Honolulu. Um, this one's made with a fan fret, and um, it's a beautiful guitar that Ra Rallo built in Kailua. So let's check it out. I remember days when we were younger We used to catch opu in the mountain stream Round the Kolau hills we'd ride on our spot So long ago it seems it was a dream Last night I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you But I fear you won't be as I left you Make aloha kuha me o kahalu I remember days when we were wiser When our world was small enough for dreams And you have lingered there, my sister And I no longer can it seem Last night I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you But I fear I am not as I left you Make aloha kuhamil kahalu Change is a strange thing, it cannot be denied It can help you find yourself or make you lose your pride Move with it slowly as on the road we go Please do not hold on to me, we all must go alone I remember days when we were smiling 
When we laughed and sang the whole night long And I would greet you as I'd find you With the sharing of a brand new song Last night I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you To please accept me as you find me Mikelo haku mio kahalu Mikelo haku mio kahalu Mikelo haku mio kahalu This is um, a, a multi-scale guitar that instead of like on Keith's guitar where it has a defined scale length by the breaking points at the, at the saddle and at the nut, this particular scale length is 25.4. Um, it is angled somewhat on the, on the bridge when you see that at the saddle and also the crown on the saddles and that is to do to dial in the intonation of the instrument. As you depress the string and as you go up with different tensions, even the height action, you need to really fine tune that um, to keep it when you play up the guitar neck that it'll stay in tune. It's not a perfect situation, but it's uh, it's pretty much the best you can do with it. Um, this is using two different scale lengths: a longer scale length on the bass and a shorter scale length on the treble. So it produces a multi-scale effect, kind of like a piano, and if you notice the nut is on an angle and the bridge is also, the saddle is also on an angle, and uh, that's because this is a 24.7, or I'm sorry, 25.7 and a 24.9 scale length. So those are varying, and you can do a, uh, I got this particular layout from a computer program of where you could List what scale lengths you wanted to use on the two E strings, the dimension in from it, and where you wanted to have the near perpendicular um, uh, fret. And, and then it would mathematically lay everything out. And then I made a little jig that was like a sliding uh, uh, miter jig, and I put a piece of plexiglass of it and I ran it through to score. Uh, where it was square, square on that uh, piece of plexiglass. And I took the printout of the scale length, and, uh, and fortunately, they had a left and a right. Uh, uh, you could do it for a left hand or a right hand because the angles would be opposite. But I was able to just take the, uh, the printout onto the back of the fretboard. And when I would lay it down, I could you turn that miter gauge so that line, that score mark that I had on the plexiglass would line up with my where the position of my fret. And luckily, I have a pretty good coordination between the eyes and cutting. And um, I, I was able to just eye that all up and then run it. And of course, each fret that you do, you'd have to adjust the scale because it would be a different angle. But this is giving a, a more tension on the bass string and, a, and less tension on the treble side, giving the treble a little bit of a sweeter tone, not quite as harsh, uh, but giving uh, more of a punch to the bass string because of, uh, because of the added tension. Ideal for slack key because you're tuning down and because of a longer scale length, it takes more tension to keep it up, to bring it up to, to, uh, to pitch. Even when you reduce it, you have more tension on it than you would have on a standard scale length. And the other uh, feature of it is ergonomically, as your fretting hand here, as you're playing, your fingers, it's kind of following the, the angle of your fingers. And as you move up, 
your positioning of your wrist is changing and the frets also change with it. So ergonomically, it's really a comfortable guitar to play. But that's um, a little bit on the, on the multi-scale. The bracing, I didn't, because I used um, just a, not an extreme difference between the scale lengths, this is not too dr drastic as far as the angles of the saddle and the nut and, and the frets as well. Um, if you get really expand that, you can really get some sharp angles, which I think is a little too much. This, uh, though, is really um, comfortable because it's, and it's nearly transparent because it's, it's a smaller difference between the two different scale lengths. And because of that also, I use a standard X-brace. I really only had to adjust one, one tone bar on, or one part of the X on this side of the base to get my bridge to fall where I wanted it onto the, uh, onto the X bracing. Uh, otherwise, I probably really would have had to do something pretty drastic on the bracing on the inside. Um, it is modified, uh, a modified X bracing, but it's not really practical. That's about it. I tried to keep the, uh, the kind of the theme of everything angled. I kind of did an asymmetrical thing with my slotted headstock here with, with the top of the head and also dropping down uh, the distances here on the slots themselves to kind of coincide with this space here to give it more of that repeated angles going on through the very top of the headstock all the way down to the bridge. So that it's there, the location of the tuners, the nut, the frets, and the bridge itself. Why did you do slotted? Um, slotted are really more traditional for like the 12 fretters, but aesthetically they have a little, um, it adds certainly more detail, especially when you're doing uh, the overlays with the inlays, and when you do that little slot, you can get that little detail in it. And there's a little bit of that detail yeah, yeah. here as well on the overlays. But um, it is, a little more difficult to change strings, um, but uh, you know if you're willing to put up with it, then uh, uh, it, it's it's a it's a good option. Some people really like them, uh, especially become popular on ukuleles right now. Yeah. With the slot heads on ukuleles, so that's about it with this.